What's going on guys? Comes to back again on another MLB the Show 18 Diamond Dynasty video. And before we get into it, if you guys have been enjoying the content lately, make sure to be leaving likes down below. Make sure to hit that sub button, guys. I am on the grind to 5,000 if you guys do not know. So really, really would be appreciated. Got a lot of content coming to you. Uh, of course, I know a lot of you guys are a fans of the pack opening and the pack draft that we did yesterday. But unfortunately, I cannot put those out every single day because they do cost a lot of studs for me to do so. I have to make stubs, which is why we're here today. Of course, a lot of you guys have uh, requested this video from me because the market has been really weird and it has just been changing a lot. It has been crashing a lot recently. And a lot of people are asking me, uh, you know, Gomes, like, what's your, what's your go-to stub method right now? Because uh, I know you have a lot of them, but which one are you using right now? Because the market is so much different. Because if you look, uh, let's look at the bronze hats, for example. They have been crashing so hard. You know, the, uh, especially the Braves, for example. The Braves used to go for like three, four hundred. They're, they're below 200. They've been settling at like 150 lately. And uh, even like Angels and Cardinals, they used to go for over 500. They've been crashing and it's everything. It's not just hats, it's also jerseys. It's, you know, everything across the board. It has been really, really crashing lately, but I went ahead and did some research, and of course you guys can see in the top right hand corner, uh, just a couple days ago I really didn't have any stubs, and now I have over 100k, of course. Um, so I have been grinding, and uh, this is basically how I've been doing it, as you guys can see. We've been buying a bunch of bronze and silver balls once again. It will not matter for this example, I was able to buy them at 90 stubs, and they did sell to me pretty quickly, so this is a pretty fast and uh, cost efficient method and way to do it. And also you're gonna need some bronze hats of course I do not think I've told you guys about this one before and it is uh, souvenirs to gold jerseys exchange of course you need 1100 points to be able to do this so if you go back to the market you're going to need seven bronze or silver baseballs it does not matter which one because they pretty much cost the same and they uh, both uh, they both go for 150 exchange points, so it does not matter which one you do, and you can mix and match if you guys do want to. I'm pretty sure I usually just do silver baseballs because usually they seem to uh, sell a little bit quicker, and even though the buy now might be a little bit more on some of these, they do still, you know, sell at 90, and I was able to get them pretty quickly. And then, of course, bronze hats, of course, you guys already know, just get the cheapest ones. Um, usually, you can find some for like 30 or below, like Rockies right now, they're going for like 30 stubs, something like that. Uh, just pick those up if you want to put in buy orders that's on you but of course do not buy especially do not buy the baseballs out front because you're gonna lose out on a lot of stubs but all said and done seven bronze slash silver baseballs two bronze hats that's gonna cost you 690 stubs and then you're gonna have all the exchange points needed so let's just put in two of those and like I said I did mix and match a little bit but I think I mainly have a silver balls uh so i do have a couple bronze though like i said so that's 1100 points right there and this is going to be a three gold jersey pack and uh this one out of i went ahead and checked from the bronze hats the silver jerseys and the gold jerseys because to be honest with you, don't even waste your time do with like bronze and silver bobbleheads or gold bobbleheads or anything like that. These three ha bronze hats, silver jerseys, and gold jerseys are the only ones that are going to ever make you any stubs. And uh, when it's after it was all said and done, gold jerseys did give you the most uh, the most average. Um, you know, usually you get the most out of it, and we get angels right there, and we get two Rockies, but angels is really good. Um, but like I said, once again, this uh, this method, you cannot lose stubs, which is my favorite thing about it. That's the thing I always try to put in whenever I do lease, is to make sure that you cannot lose stubs. Of course, angels are not going for 1800 right now, but I guarantee you I can probably throw this up for, you know, 13 and I'm going to make 1200 So we already doubled profit off of one jersey, and then of course we still have our Rockies, which do not go for too much, so we'll just put a nice 269 up there uh, one time. Uh, of course the average price that you're gonna or the average uh, you're gonna get about 1600 worth and so that's gonna make you about 910 stubs on average each time but the thing about gold jerseys that makes it the best is a uh, one you can get a lot like out of all those three that I told you uh, bronze hats silver jerseys and gold jerseys this one has the highest chance of you you know really hitting home like for example if you got like two angels and a braves 
you're gonna be able to like quadruple your studs basically there's definitely a lot of heavy hitters in this of course cardinals and angels they are really hot ones and spent or and oreos as well and Braves, of course, Babe Ruth is in the Braves, and so is Chipper, and then, of course, Angels and uh, Cardinals is Albert Pujols. So a lot of people try to get those done. So another thing about gold jerseys is they move really, really quickly. So unfortunately, like bronze hats, it's always been good, uh, even though right now I think this one is a better method, of course. Bronze hats just do not move as fast, and of course, you get 10 bronze hats per pack, and you only get three jerseys. So this one takes, uh, it's a lot quicker to do it this way which I of course I do like because time is very very valuable time is almost as valuable as stubs in this case so once again we're just gonna load up 1100 points of course you guys already know just gonna make sure that you guys see how exactly these work and I think I actually do have it enough for at least one more so I might as well just fill that now but like I said guys, I have definitely been on the grind of getting these stubs to try to get those videos out for you because I know you like them and uh, I like making them too, so I like to try to get those out. But one, it takes a lot of time to edit, and two, like I said, it just takes a lot of stubs as well, so it is not that easy for me to put those out every single day, especially because I try to put a lot, uh, a lot of work into those. So I hope you guys can appreciate that, but of course, I still will be bringing you guys the tips videos as always. I know you guys seem to like these as well because, uh, I mean, it, I, I find them helpful because, or at least myself, you know, like I'm always looking for these things myself, so if I can help you guys out as well, I definitely want to do that. So we'll just throw in one more. And uh, yeah, just going to show you guys how these work once again. Hopefully we can get a really good haul in one of these three. Um, that, let's just open this quick. Uh, I, I have a lot of stuff to clear in my binder if you guys can't tell. Let me know how you guys do because I've been trying to do these bronze to silvers. Um, I've done these before, but I mean, I have so many bronze cards because I've been opening so many packs recently. Let me know how you guys are clearing your binder because it, it takes so long. That's really the fastest way I found to do it. We get a Rangers, a Brewers, and a Diamondbacks. So that's about 600, 400, and about uh, 270. So once again, we're gonna um, we're gonna about double our stubs on that one. So once again, a good pack, definitely not the best, but uh, I mean, the fact that that's not the best and we can still double our stubs really says something about this method. This one was not the best. Uh, we'll, we'll actually go ahead and check that one out because of course we made stubs off of it, but I don't know how much we did. Of course, so we got a uh, we got a brewer, so that's gonna be about 400. Of course, like I said, this is at about noon central time sell your jerseys at night and always if you have a bunch of them if you do a bunch of these exchanges throw them up by the time you go to bed uh when you wake up they're all gonna be gone basically a lot of people are on at night and a lot of people swarm in and scoop stuff overnight so make sure to do that but of course that's gonna be about 400 tigers is gonna be about uh 370 so we already made stubs off that right off the bat and then we did have a royal so that's gonna be about a thousand stubs as well so uh we have one more pack hopefully we can really hit home on this one really have a banger we got tigers giants and yankees once again we did make studs but just not the best like i said even the worst even the worst rounds that you get you still are going to make stubs though yankees they, they don't go for 500 make sure to sell these at night of course uh, once you have a gauge on the market, you'll be able to tell like when's the best time to sell them You know what price is their true price because a lot of times these are not their true prices I mean, uh, I, I can just go down the list uh, Astros usually don't sell for 655 So if you have Astros jerseys sell them now, that's what I mean It is really important to have a good gauge and understanding of how the market works and how uh, how much everything goes for because Rangers it's a uh, it's an opposite example. This does not go for 470. It goes for quite a bit more. And usually, a good way to tell that is usually the uh, buy and sell orders. They're not going to be this narrow. I mean, it will be narrow for ones like uh, what's a cheap one like the Pirates. That's going to be uh, usually a bit more narrow. But if you look at one like the Cardinals, you see how wide that gap is. Or you look at the Orioles, you see how wide that gap is. So if it's one like the Rangers, which goes for like 500 stubs even right now. And and the gap is that narrow 
it should tell you that they go for uh, they go for more than they are selling for. But that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Like I said, I hope this guy, uh, I hope this uh, stud method guy can help you guys. Of course, I've been I'm gonna be using this one a lot because gotta get my stubs up, gotta get those videos to you. Really, really excited on the road to 5K once again. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you like down below. Hope you guys have a great day, and then it guys comes out. Yeah. Love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I tell you